hello everyone let's solve this problem very quickly we have square root of k multiply by um, k multiply by square root of k equals 2 we are looking for the value of k now the first thing we do is this we have um square root of k here is the same thing as k to the power of 1 over 2 then multiply by k has power of 1 then times here we have k again which will be k to the power of 1 over 2 and this is equal to 2 now let's take a step further remember if you have um if you have um x to the power of a times x to the power of b this is the same thing as x to the power of a plus b if you apply one of the laws of indices so i will do the same thing and i have k to the power of 1 over 2 okay plus 1 plus 1 over 2 equal to 2 now let me pick out the numerator there okay or the power rather trying to work with the power now remember for the power i'm having one over two plus one plus one over two now the lcm of this is two right and then two divided by two is one times one is one plus 2 divided by whatever should be under that is 2. Then times 2 will give 2. Plus 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 1 is 1. Now at the end of the day, we have 4 over 2, which will give us 2. Therefore, the power is 2. And this means that we are having k to the power of 2 equal to 2 k to the power of 2 equal to 2. Now, the next thing to be done is, you know, taking the square root of both sides. So we have square root of k squared equal to positive or negative square root of 2. Now, the square root and the square will cancel each other. And from here, we'll have k to be equal to positive or negative square root of 2 and then when you have positive or negative value what does it mean it means that k here is equal to square root of 2 or negative square root of 2 so now we have the value of k but then are we sure that these two solutions will satisfy the given equation now let's move over to the given equation Okay, so this is the given equation, and we have that um, the value of k that we got, we got k to be equal to root 2 or negative root 2, right? Now, let me start by putting the value of the, the k, which is root 2. If I put root 2 into this, then I'm going to have square root of square root of 2, because k itself is root 2. Then multiply by k, which is root 2 now. I have root 2, then multiply by another k, which, which is um, square root of square root of um, 2. Now, will this give me 2 at the end of my work? Let's go. Now, square root of the square root of 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. Then multiply by square root of 2 here is 2 to the power of 1 over 2 and then square root of square root of 2 is 2 to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 now let's let me multiply so i have 2 to the power of 1 over 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 over 4 now let's deal with this Pick one of the bases because they are the same. We have two. 
then I'm going to add the powers 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. Now I want to pick the power here and deal with it. So what is the power? We have 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. The LCM is 4. Now I will have this 4 divided by 4 is um, 1 times 1 is 1 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1 is 2 plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1 is 1 and at the end of the day I have 4 over 4 which is equal to 1 so therefore the power there is 1 and we're having 2 to the power of 1 now what is 2 to the power of 1? 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2 and this means that we are correct to say k is equal to square root of 2. But then, if you pick the negative value, right? If you pick k to be equal to negative square root of 2, will this satisfy the given equation? Now, let me point out something. Remember that the original equation is um, square root of k multiplied by k multiplied by square root of k, right, equal to 2. Now, if we put the value of k into this, we will have to find the value of, you know, we'll have square root of negative number. Remember, this is going to be square root of the square root of negative you know, square root of 2, because k itself is minus 2, minus square root of 2, right? So in place of k, now I'm going to write minus square root of 2. And now we will have to find the square root of a negative number. And that will lead us to a complex number, which will not satisfy this given equation. So therefore, we will conclude that k equal to negative square root of 2, does not satisfy the given equation. Thank you for watching.